So welcome back everybody to um, GTA 3, almost at Mafia 3. <laughs> That's not what we're playing, but yeah, welcome back to GTA 3. We are here, ready to do some more missions. I actually do not know what is in store. I actually do not remember anything. I do not remember where I am. I do not remember what happened. I just need to know. No, I just need a car. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a car. Oh, there he is. There's a car. Thank you. I want to visit the hospital real quick, but uh, I need to go to Fort Staunton, I think, for that. Christ almighty. Immediately people are shooting at me. But I think that may be the hospital right there. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I need to remember the fucking controls. I honestly don't remember the controls at all. It's it's like old PS2 controls. I need to remember that. X is a accelerate and square is break. Which is the most ass backwards thing I can think of right now because I've been playing two games. Both on stream and off stream that that use R2 and L2 for vehicle controls. So yeah, imagine my, you know, my confusion. So yeah, let's just uh, finish up the rest of the missions that we have here. See what it's all about. We have an Asuka mission, and I think it's one for Donald Love. So let's just go and do the one for Donald because Donald has the shittiest missions. Or should I go to Osaka? I mean, Osaka is like right around the corner, so why not? Why not do this one real quick? Sure. I mean, we're right here. We are right here, so why not check it out? I actually do not remember if I tried this mission and died. Could be that I tried it and died. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. I want to say I haven't played this game in like two weeks. Oh, bait! I remember bait. Actually, I don't remember bait. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around. Yeah, this is the fucking mission that I tried last time, and it didn't work. I remember that because I I got out of my car. And I wanted to, I wanted to lead them all towards, you know, the death squad. And they just didn't kill him. They, d they never killed them. For some odd fucking reason, they never killed them. Which is really dumb. But oh well, what can you do about it? I'm also considering either using the stick or the D-pad for movement. I think I also need to go to the other island. I think so. I think I may have to go to... I think I may have to go through the tunnel. I may have to do that. So now I need to remember where the hell the tunnel is at. I think it's right here. Yeah, it is. Uh, shit. It wasn't in... It wasn't in Shoreside, I think. Yeah, we need to go to Shoreside Vale. Is that an Infernus? Turismo or whatever the hell? I don't care. This is now mine. Oh, it's a cheetah. Okay, well, either way, I'm taking it, fella. I'm taking it either way, feller. Uh, Shoreside Vale, please. Thank you. I like how I'm talking to the sidelines as if, it, as if it's like a fucking taxi or something. It's not. Uh. Need to learn how to drive again. Because cars are very slippery in this game, but they control, they, they have that feeling like they are responsive, but they are also not that responsive. Like, I think, I think the, the, the explanation I'm going for here is that they are too responsive. Wow, I'm not playing the remaster? I was thinking of playing the remaster. And then I realized I have the, the trilogy on PS4, so I can grind out the trophies. And then once I'm done with that, I can play the remasters. So hey, double the platinum zero. 
Double the platinums. Oh my god, there's someone shooting at me. Also, I'm gonna be real honest, GTA 3 is the worst one. <laughs> of course. Hey, Death Squad, come over. Come over to my place, honey. Oh god, this one is right on my ass. Ah! This one is right on my ass. Holy shit, look at this guy. Okay, now it's time to play the little game called Will Asuka's Death Squad actually do their fucking job? Yes or no? Please do your job. Yeah, waiting will help for sure. I mean, I played the release version. It was so fucking bad. Yeah, I heard it wasn't good. Please do your thing. I killed one of them. All right, they killed one of them. And now I shall become a little loot goblin and, and take all of their things. Like you just hear Claude going, nah, 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 nah. just going like, nah, 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 nah. And you just see him take all the weapons. Like immediately loot everything. As you do. As you do. This is the last terrible mission, so at least there's that. No, I saw I saw that there's espresso to go, so I'm not looking forward to that mission. If there's one mission I'm really not looking forward to, it's uh, espresso to go. Because I, I I heard horror stories. I heard horror stories for uh from other people playing this game, and they were like, oh, this this was the, uh, ooh. What's after this espresso to go fucking sucked? Oh, you. But I have my armored patriot, so it should be fine, question mark? The only thing I need is a new car. Yeah, no, espresso to go, I heard, was a uh, pretty fucking bad. And then there's still one mission left for Donald. Um... Okay, what the f- Ay! Ay, dickhead! Senior dickhead, come over here! <laughs> he fucking left! Yeah, GTA 3 is a shit tier game by today's standards, but then again... <laughs> he just fucking left! Hello? Come back here, please? Hello? Hello? Oh god. Oh, save me! Ah! Save me! Save me now! Oh shit! Senor Dickhead, please! Help! What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean I failed? I did your thing! Senor Dickhead, why are you not fucking shooting him, you idiot? Oh my lord. Are they still alive? What? They just disappeared. What? Hello? By the way, plays Deus Ex 1. I'm thinking about it. I have I have the VG game. I have it on Steam. Oh, I still have so many games that I want to play. Saints Row 3 is up there. I have the I have the remaster of uh, Saints Row 3. And I gotta I gotta play that. I gotta play Saints Row 4, and then Saints Row 5, which I don't know if people call that Saints Row 5, it's got out of hell. And then I gotta play GTA Vice City and San Andreas and GTA 4 and 5, which I'm probably not gonna play immediately. I'm not really in the mood to play GTA 4 and be depressed, even though that game has like terrific story writing. Uh, yeah, we're taking the bridge, I guess. Okay, we're taking the bridge. Goodbye. Suspect last seen in your mom. Yeah, and then we have Resident Evil 3 remake. Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Revelations 1, 2. Mm. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. It's just Saints Row uh, 4.5. But I remember liking Saints Row 4, so I'm not going to be that upset about it. Okay, that's cool. That's great. That's great. Claude, no! Excited to get the RE3 remake, waiting for the price to go under 20. I got it for, I, well, I, I, I say I got it, but my brother got it for uh, 30, I think. Which is not too bad. 30 should not be a bad price for that game. Now, Watch Dogs 2, I got that game for like 20 bucks. That was, uh, that's my money's worth. 
Yeah, don't don't watch the Let's Play and actually think that's my uh, current opinion of uh, Watch Dogs 2. I actually really like that game nowadays. Guess what? I was not playing the game correctly. There's me complaining about the guys that are armored and being being like, oh, they're bullets, but just fucking jam their headset and there you go. You don't have to worry about them. Jam their headset and throw an explosive at them. Boom, there you go. Yeah, I was a, a stupid child eight months ago. <laughs> I, I say it like it's like five years ago that I did that Let's Play, but it's only like been half a year. Not half a year. For a second, I thought the game crashed. You're in a poorer country, so 30 euros is rough for sure. Yeah, I understand. But you know... No offense, but I'm not a college student anymore. Plus, I have a job, so... <laughs> I, can, I can afford these things these days. Somehow. No offense. No offense, but I can afford... A, uh, a expensive game. Not to toot my own horn. And in the background, you just hear. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Just hear that. <laughs> and even then, it's like 15% of a monthly salary for a fully. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Hold on, brother. What? 15% of a monthly salary for a full price game? What, you only get like. Shouldn't have to do math. Or. Do you only get like uh, 500 bucks a month? That would be criminal over here. 500 bucks a month would be criminal over here in, in good old Belgium. I think people would actually kill you if you did that. <laughs> I mean, I would. I would kill someone if they gave me 500 bucks a month. Jeez. Like, if I had to work full time and they did that. Oh god, that's the bridge. Eesh. And I just like drive like a normal human being. Not exactly 60 for iron 450 before expensive after taxes though. Wait, you have a job? Like <laughs> that sounds so dickish that I asked that. Wait, you wait, you have a job? I did not know you had a job. If that's what you that's what you mean at least. Or is that like the military shit that you had to do? I actually forgot. Completely forgot what it's all about. I'm very, I'm very invested in this conversation. I'm very. Oh, you're freelancing. Ah, I see. So drugs. Got out of the army. Yeah. So you're doing drugs then. I need to go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's not gonna be some army general fondling your ass and being like, mm, you need to do more squatch, boy. <laughs> Senor Dickhead, please follow me. Please follow me to the quarry, where I can shoot you. Where my men can shoot you, because apparently if I get out of the fucking thing, I... lose. I don't know. I actually do not know how this fucking mission works. I think it's all a big scam. Oops. So wait, they follow me through that? No way. They actually do follow you through that? Hold on. I need to like wait and check. I think they ran into the wall. Yeah, I didn't I think they did run into the wall. Sure. Oh they Oh my fucking boy. Do I have to? There you go. Follow me. These guys honestly will kill themselves rather than follow me. They're the death squad sent by Catalina. You think that Catalina would know what the hell she's doing, right? All right, guys, whack them. Whack the bastards. Really? There you go. There you go. Good job, fellas. Now that's how you get a job done. None of that ch motherfucker. None of that chicken shit. Can you? Okay, hold on. Austin Powers moment. Austin Powers moment. All right. Now we take the ramp. By that I mean kill him, man. 
kill a man by accident, take their AK, and then just jump. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is a disaster. Alright. Goodbye, cruel world. Yes. Wow. How much damage did that do? Five damage. <laughs> this did five damage, jumping from that high. Kinda surprised that Claw doesn't have a broken shin. Then his bone is like poking out. Remember, kids, but always remember the ABCs of first aid. A stands for A, of course, and B stands for bone, and C stands for coming out of the skin is very bad. There you go. Don't need to know much more than that about general health. Most I've paid for a game was 32, days gone, two games at 30. Kingdom Come Deliverance and GTA 5, everything else was lower than like 25. Okay, yeah, but honestly, if you uh, look at it that way, $32 for day Days Gone, well, Euro, we're talking Euro here. But 32 Euro for Days Gone is actually not a bad price, especially if you do like everything the game has to offer. Plus, you know, spend spend a little while, you know, taking out the hordes, driving around, and maybe a, an extra playthrough or two. I think you'll get your money's worth out of that. And then Kingdom Come Deliverance along with GTA 5, yeah, that's like a no-brainer. That is more than your money's worth. After a while, at least. I think every game is worth the money when you've put the essential hours into it. Like essential hours, I say, if you put enough hours into it, you know? Same it's why I really appreciated uh, Watch Dogs 1. It's because I got it for 15 bucks and I spent so many hours into it. I, I was able to spend so many hours into it. Oh god. Oh god, we're dead. We're dead. Ah, my armor! Well then. Can I borrow a car? Ah, uh, not my fucking life bar, you whore. Literally. Oh, no, wait, you're not a whore. Yeah, no. Actually, I've actually been refraining from paying full price for games these days. Just makes me enjoy them much more. Plus, you know, less complaining. True, I guess for me, it's just the idea of how long can you hold out since games keep getting cheaper by the weeks. Yeah, oh god, what the fuck? Well, there's just a Patriot here. Well then, I'll just take that. Goodbye. No. I actually do not know what's happening anymore. I'm just I'm just talking about video game longevity. Oh lord. Yeah, no, it's it's more of um how much do you pay for a game and how long can you enjoy your time? And I say enjoy, and that is like the, the key word in that sentence. It's not how long can you play it, it's how long can you enjoy it. Because let's say I pay full price for, like let's say Days Gone. Let's say I pay full price for Days Gone, I play it for an hour and all of a sudden it just does not interest me anymore. Then basically I paid 60 bucks to play for an hour. Which is like a very shitty date because you don't even get laid. Well, let's say in an alternate universe, I or let's just say I pay 60 bucks for mm, GTA 5. I pay 60 bucks for GTA 5 and I am able to spend 200 hours for it. So that means I get 200 hours worth of content out of $60. So yeah, of course, it's much more, it's much more, you know, good for my wallet. And plus, by the time that you're finished with GTA 5, let's say after the 200 hours you actually spent on GTA 5, you probably have saved up a bit more money because you didn't pay for any other games. Which is a fucking lie. Because... <sighs> it's a fucking lie because when you buy a video game, you immediately buy something else because you know you're gonna play it one day. And then you, you know, don't play for like three years. Hello, Mafia 3, is that you? Mafia 3, is that you? Totally wasn't talking about that game for a minute. Yeah, I bought that game day one when it came out in like 20... what was it, 16? 2016, I think? Haven't touched it until uh, a few months ago. You may be thinking, Sneak, why did you do that? Well, I like the Mafia games, and that was the first game I could actually buy. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Hey. Oh my god, these guys are not dead? Hey! Why the fuck are these guys not helping? <laughs> well, I did it. Somehow. What the fuck was that? There was just a guy over here that wasn't helping at all. What an asshole. Alright, let's just jump off the bridge again. <sighs> let's go back. I need to I need to buy armor. Armor. I'm not saying in a more thick Irish accent. Jesus Christ, I'm not even Irish. What do you want from me? For a second I thought someone was jacking me. God, I wish someone was shocking me. <laughs> ah, that's a sex joke. Wait a minute, is that a banshee? Hello, Mr. Banj. I would like to buy your vehicle. And by buy, I mean buy it for an extremely low price. That price being free, I'm stealing your car. Okay, well, good news, we made progress today. Actually, no, we haven't made progress today. I'm gonna shut my mouth before I die. Before I die, before I get back to uh, Staunton. Let me just get back there real quick. I actually do not know if I have a safe house here in uh, Shoreside. I don't think there's a safe house in Shoreside Vale. At least I don't think there is. I don't presume. You yeah, know, let's just get to the safe house and then we can save. And then we have officially made progress today, which makes me very happy. Then cra again, we crash a card the exact same way that we did before. That is interesting. Um, I should probably... Before I do save, I should probably get armor and health. So that the next mission would be a little bit more, you know, feasible. And if I do fail it quite often, I do not have to go back and buy the same shit again. Mainly because I do not know where the fuck the ammunition is. <laughs> I have no clue where it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do not know the map of this game at all. And again, there's people shooting at me. There's always people shooting at me. And we flipped the car. How the fuck do I flip a car? <laughs> How do I flip a car? All right, well, we'll take the ambulance. Amber lamps. Call the amber lamps. There you go. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me props though for being able to fucking flip a car on flat surface. Okay, so now is the question. Where the hell is the ammunition again? Is it a good idea to microwave this? Oh, there it is. Someone keeps shooting at me. Do I have to pull out the gat? The gat is out and people have angered me. Who is trying to anger me? Hope nobody. Someone's being real passionate about the horn. Someone's being real passionate about that horn in the background and I am ready to fucking shoot them. <laughs> These guys are really trying to test me. Oh my god, I'm actually, hold on. Coño, can you not? Asshole. Oh, that's a Yardy right there. No, don't jack me! Uh! I swear, if he tries to hit my body arm, I'm gonna kill him. What's wrong with these guys? Christ almighty. Stop shooting at me! I'm trying to just buy armor. I hope they do not come in here. You look trustworthy. I look trustworthy. I killed a guy in the street with your fucking weapon that I just bought here. What do you mean I'm trustworthy? Suspect is on foot. I'm also just buying weapons. Leave me be, Jeremy. Oh my lord. This is not gonna end well for me, is it? No! Okay. Ah! Run! Run away! Uh. Okay, so we have a lot of ammo for our Uzi, which is good because the Uzi is literally the best weapon in the game. And I will not take no's for an answer. 
If somebody tries to come at me with the um actually, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Do provide me with my ambulance, thank you. Alright, so I do not know which mission we should do. Let's go let's go do Donald's mission. Cause the last missions from Donald have been upsetting, to say the least. But since we already did one mission, I may as well do that one. Because I know, I know we can do it. If I don't flip the goddamn ambulance. Oh my god, no. No. Yes. No, you suck. My uh. car. Sorry. The land stock, yeah. Uh. Just, I'm just stealing cars left and left. Stealing cars left and right, dude. It's not. It ain't easy. Christ. Christ almighty. There's a fucking bead in my stool. Oh god. Alright, Donald. Let's see what you got. What do you have for me? Escort service. What? You are proving to be a safe investment. A rare thing in these days of falsehood. My <laughs> oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. Okay. Defend. Escort. Okay then. Should be too hard. But my car is already smoking. Oh, he has a thing. He has a car. That's cool. We don't have to fucking drive him anywhere. It's great. Let me just drive next to him and keep an eye out for trouble. I do not know where trouble may lie, but. I'm suspicious of everybody. Are you suspicious? That lady is literally driving her car. <laughs> she's getting rid of her car. I think she's trying to go for insurance fraud here. So far, everything is going pretty well. This car over here is really annoying me, though. I gotta get my face plucked. Yeah, so far, so good. Nothing bad going on. Even though the car already has damage, nothing happened. We're in Belleville Park, yeah, they, these are bad guys. Just know that. Yep. Uh oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh no, it's actually unharmed. Uh, gotta stay with the truck. Oh god, now we have. This shit. Really? Uh. Uh. <laughs> do not know what's happening anymore. There's there's Colombians trying to kill me, but I have no idea where they are. Where the hell are the Colombians these days? I do not want to kill these guys because then my wanted level goes up. Duh. College people, dude. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll just have an extra escort service. I think. I think we have an extra escort service at least. We're in Rockford. I do not know where Pike Creek is, even though this is really annoying me by the fact that they are really on my ass. But we're growing under the bridge. Oh god. Oh god, what is that noise? The headset was really acting up there. <laughs> Those cops are killing themselves. Cops are killing themselves, I don't even have to do anything. Even though the car, the damage on the car is already going up, even though I'm not doing anything. Nothing is happening. Oh yeah, that car blew up. Cop car actually blew up. What a, what a knob. <laughs> I'm actually being driven by this cop car, can you believe it? Like, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Okay, I'm controlling it. Okay, now they're shooting at us. Okay. That's bad. Should 
probably get rid of them then. What, they are, they are really taking damage. That's not good. They are really taking damage. Oh god. Guys, that guy's doing a good grind. He's doing a very good grind even. I do may have to get rid of him though after a while. Oh god. Stop pushing me, please, sir. Sir, what did I just say? So, what did I just say? Oh my god. Oh, I'm stuck! No! Okay. That should have me in a jam there. Motherfuck. No, don't flip the car on your own. Sneak, why? Are you fucking stupid? Alright, well. Yeah, well, the car's not gonna make it. Oh, and now they have these guys? Motherfuck. Hold on. There you go. 